I do want to throw this in there, and I don't really know too much, but it is, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Nate. I think everybody has really liked Nate, and Today Reality Steve posted an article, uh, which he has not done in a while, and he did preface that. He was like, I've kind of been out of the exposing people game because it gets messy, and if you have like anonymous sources, all these things, like people don't believe you. It turns in this whole big thing. So he said he did post it because he did have the receipts and both women uh, gave their names and Instagrams and were like, this is, we're standing behind what we're saying here. And one woman claimed to date Nate from like the beginning of 2020 to some point in 2021. And then, you know, she found out he was going on the bachelor on the bachelorette. Um, and they had a fairly normal, it seemed like romance where he was, he, she sent screenshots of conversations and they met families. And then she had come to realize that, uh, the beginning of like 2021, he was also seeing somebody else in a different place. And there was some overlap there, which is not crazy. Like there are guys out there who date multiple women at the same time and do try and get away with it. And it's just if he was really, if he was like really telling both these women that uh, he loves both of them, that's is obviously shitty, shitty behavior. But the big thing was that the woman, and I, I believe Kelsey is her name. She did not know that he had a daughter. She found out that he had a daughter while watching The Bachelorette and him saying it on TV. However, the other woman said that within like a month of knowing him, she he told her that he, he had a daughter. So one woman he told he had a daughter, one woman he didn't tell, they were together for like a, or dating for like a year and a half, she found out on the show. It's like, it's it's not so crazy, like holy shit, bat, alarm, 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 alarm. Right. It's, just, it's just kind of weird. Yeah. I, I skimmed because I, I saw this article as well and I sort of looked through it and I, I didn't pick up enough specifics to make like a uh, ruling on it. It yeah. is odd to be dating someone for a weird. year and a half. Yeah, it's weird. It is odd to be dating someone for a year and a half and not finding out that they have a kid. I think that's pretty weird. Yeah. Imagine how much that is to juggle two women and a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, this got to take up a lot and of one, time. No? And one woman knows, one woman doesn't know. And I then apparently, with that. I know, apparently he had a, a friend who was a lady friend who she got involved because she had told one of the girls about the other girl. Like she was the one who made the two girls aware of each other. Oh, but, shit. But she had apparently also hooked up with Nate like a few weeks prior. Oh, because she was a jelly. So she was jelly and I think was trying to blow up his spot. Um, so it looked like he was maybe sowing his oats a little bit. He had just gotten divorced. That was the thing he did not. Uh, Kelsey, I believe, also did not know that he was coming out of a marriage. So she didn't know he was coming out of a marriage and did not know he had a child until she the, watched the show. <laughs> remember the Entourage movie? Yes. When E gets all caught up with the girls and mm -hmm. they're all like bombarding him. And he's kind of an innocent guy. You never know. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's two ways you could look at it. So you know, <laughs> that is a very interesting comparison. I I, I don't mean, know. Sloan's pregnant. He hooked yeah. up with two girls in the, in the span of the, like a day, and they're all bombarding him. One doesn't know that he's have, expecting a baby. The other one does. It's seems like a good comparison, in my eyes, <laughs> yeah. but not real. <laughs> So maybe yeah, not. yeah. So I don't know. I think it's just something to, in my to opinion keep, to keep I, an I eye on. I don't like it. Um, he's probably a nice guy, but I think there is something fishy about that. But I also yeah, think that's some shady behavior. I also think there's something fishy about when somebody gets on TV. All of a sudden, people perk up, and all of a sudden, they want to they don't want to start talking so much. It's all. It happens every season. It happens every season. Somebody's got a story about somebody. Sometimes it hits like Jed, and sometimes it misses. Well, that's yeah. like that's real. I think that's reality. Steve's point too, where like 
every time this does seem to happen and it's like, it's tough to track down the truth. It's really yeah. tough. And there's mm-hmm. multiple people involved and people are throwing all these receipts around. And then we're all just supposed to make a judgment call on this is who that person is now. This is how we're going to view them. And that's like, that's a very slippery slope. Yeah, right. definitely. Which is why I think he stopped anything, doing it a lot. People can say anything about anybody. And like, that's absolutely. True. Which is why I think he had said, I real like he tried to make it very clear that he was not doing this or not going to post about it unless he really had gotten a full picture of what happened. And I guess on a judgment call from him, he felt that he had got enough information to post the story. I, the, she provided like a bajillion screenshots and photos of them and conversations between the two of them where it definitely feels legit to me. And it feels like the, the, the story is what actually happened it's just you, you don't have Nate's side of it. So, you know, maybe Nate has a reason why he never told her about his daughter. I, yeah. I, I don't know if it's a good one or a bad one, but he never did. And I, it's 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 got to be kind of jarring. I mean, you date someone for a year and a half plus. You think you're in love with this person. This person says that they love you and you watch them on TV and they're like, oh, by the way, I have a six year old daughter. And you're like, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like in a year and a half, why what? doesn't that come up? A year and a half, like that would come up in the first like three weeks. They're like, hey, do you want to get dinner this night? It's like, no, I got to watch my daughter. It's like, yeah, all right, I, he's got a daughter. Like it doesn't come up in a year and a half. I judged Nate completely for not telling, but I also judge the judgment of the woman not being able to figure out that this guy's got a kid somehow, right? Like we're, we're better detectives than that. You're not going to ask questions of why he can't do things, right? Like, at some mm. point, do you, wouldn't you figure it out? Not figure it out, but figure that there's something missing, right? Like, wouldn't you be uh, yeah, able to, I don't t- know. Detect, de- to detect if somebody had a child after like a year and a half? Or not even that they had a child, but there was something that they were hiding in their life? Right, your, your mind immediately right. jumps to like, oh, he's seeing someone else because he's, 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 he's not available on these nights. Right, there's something going on. What is it? And she did share a lot of, she shared like a lot of pictures of hanging out with his, Nate's twin brother and like family like events. So it's crazy crazy. that, you know, like the twin brother doesn't say, oh, by the, like, was everyone in on it that she didn't, hey, don't mention, don't mention my daughter. She doesn't know about it. Where it's not like your twin brother doesn't say, oh, hey, like, how's insert daughter's name here? Like. Yeah, that so, uh, and that's that's shady. It is it's shady. weird. It is I weird. think it's all shady. I think Nate's being shady. I think the whole thing. I, I would like a little bit more clarity. I don't. I don't know if we'll ever get it. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm intrigued to see if it's something Nate feels he'll have to talk about or not, or if it just kind of like gets brushed under the rug here. Um, I do think they haven't filmed the Mento all yet, so that could be something. Maybe that comes up, um, and we'll we'll see what happens. But now, he does get he gets that group date. Rose, here's a question. If you guys dated somebody that went on The Bachelor or Bachelorette and they did something wrong, that you felt was wrong to you um, and all of a sudden they appeared on the show, would you publicly go tell people about it or would you just talk about it with your friends and be like, oh, this this guy? Because I don't think I would publicly say anything. I wouldn't either. I would definitely make fun of him to my friends to be like, this yeah. fucking right, guy, right. like, we you hate him. Your friends, but you yeah. wouldn't go to reach yeah. out to media sources to be like, I know something about this guy. It yeah. just depends on the level of how much I'm, I'm scorned, I think. Like, if, yeah. if, if it's just, like, typical asshole, sorry, Trent, guy behavior that just, like, our relationship didn't work out and, like, he was just kind of a dick, that's one thing. If if we were engaged and he slept with another woman and broke my heart, yeah, I might, mu- I might, I might, yeah, yeah, I might That's say something. <laughs> That's a good point. It depends on the level. Yeah. It's but the it's scor- like the scorn scale. How scorned am I? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I don't know. It just, I feel like. It's funny to think of Trent like doing it about it's funny like the opposite side like uh, on the bachelor and being like this girl like she, Trent would she never ruined like Trent, me. Trent could have walked down the aisle with somebody that ended up on the show and Trent would say nothing. He would bring it up on like week 9 of the recap and be like, "Oh, by the way guys, I I uh I actually knew I actually knew uh Samantha once." <laughs> yeah. It just, and also like I just know 
because we've seen this happen to so many people and we've seen people do it that like it's it never ends in the way that I would imagine what they decide is going to happen. In the end, it just becomes more of a fucking shit show. Yeah, definitely. Like you never get, you never get, I mean, some people get knocked down bad. I mean, there's people who have done bad things and then you want to see them get knocked down. And that's a different thing. But when someone's just like an asshole in a relationship and like France said, it ends in a way that you didn't like and and they go after that person publicly, you never get the satisfaction I would imagine that you intend to get. 